Hi. We're back again. So this time we're going to talk about hearing. Okay, so hearing is a response to vibration. So vibration of molecules, vibration of air molecules is what triggers hearing for us, or what we call sound, Percep perception of sound. So typically, the response for hearing is this. So you have air molecules vibrate. Those molecules eventually travel through our ear canal to impact on our tympanic membrane where it then vibrates bone. So you have bone vibrations. So air vibrations are lead to bone vibration, which eventually then travels through your malleus, incus, tapes, to then pull or vibrate the oval window. which then moves fluid, fluid inside the cochlea. And eventually that fluid movement will vibrate things called hair cells, inner hair cells. And then those inner hair cells will create action potentials in cranial nerve number eight, what we call your auditory nerve. So that's a path really, the overview of how air vibration creates active potentials in the auditory nerve. Again, it's air vibrates to vibrate, travels to the ear canal to hit your tympanic membrane, to vibrate the malleus, inca stapes, which then vibrates the oval window, which then moves fluid, perilymph, endolymph inside the cochlea, which eventually vibrates the inner hair cells, and those hair cells are linked to neurons of nerve number eight. And so action potentials in those neurons is what is then sent to our brain to be per perceived as sound. All right, so first sound, okay, we just mentioned sound. So sound again is a perception of vibrations of molecules moving around. So sound has different uh, features about it. You have pitch. The pitch of a sound is based on its frequency. So for example, is a sound vibrating at this speed versus one at this speed. Okay. This is higher frequency. So it's a, it's a, say, for example, if this is say 20 hertz vibration, this would be a hundred hertz vibration. Hertz means times per second that the wave reforms itself. And here, a lower pitch, a lower frequency is low pitch, like a bass. A higher frequency is what we call like a high pitch, like a, like a soprano. So high pitch here. So the vibration frequency determines the pitch of the sound that you hear. Okay, you can also then look at loudness of the sound. So for loudness, actually before we get to loudness, let's do quality of sound. So your sound quality is really a reflection of how clean your pitch is. It's really the average of pitches that you typically hear in a person's voice. So when a person speaks at say a certain frequency, it's not really a clean, say, 5,000 hertz frequency. Maybe a mixture of 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. So that mixture of frequency creates that kind of noises to your, to your sound. That's called your quality. Some people have very, very clean hits on the frequency mark. So they have a very clean quality to, to, to their sound. Others, it's a mixture. You know, it's like a blend of pitches to create your quality. Then loudness refers to how big the waves are. What's called your amplitude of waves. So this wave compared to this wave, okay? They're the same frequency, but this is louder. So bigger amplitude, bigger amplitudes of waves create louder sounds. And we measure loudness of sound on a scale called the decibel scale. 
decibels scale that measure loudness for us. And so at zero decibels, that's the threshold for hearing. At that level, you can barely hear anything at all. At 10 decibels, that means you're now 10 times louder than threshold. At 20 decibels, it means you're 100 times louder. And at, say, 30 decibels, it means you're 1,000 times louder than threshold. So don't get, don't get tricked. 20 doesn't mean 20 times. 20 means 100 times. The number tells you how many zeros you get, how many powers of 10 you're playing with there. And we know that at about 120 decibels, about 120, 140 decibels, at this level is pain that you feel. So you don't want to be experiencing that kind of long-term loudness of sound. It will create pain, damage. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go a little bit into now the, the how sound is transmitted. So let's pause here.